As you know, China and Pakistan, after hectic diplomatic efforts, have convened a session of the Security Council this evening. Uh, but the problem is that most of the P5 members may not be aligned with Pakistan interests. The, for, as a matter of fact, India has a uh, vested in economic interest with most of the P5 members, including China. But China has been historically a key partner of Pakistan. And the recent events in Jammu and Kashmir uh, uh, imply that India may try to lobby the P5 members not to pursue the Kashmir matter any further. Kashmir has been a disputed region for the past 72 years, uh, ever since India, uh, Indian forces took over the region in October 1947, and Maharaja Hari Singh was forced to sign the instrument of accession. But the problem is that on 19 July 1947, the JNK as Constituent Assembly ceded to Pakistan actually. They, they endorsed the resolution that pa they, would, uh, they would go to with Pakistan. But the first Kashmir war and the events that followed at the United Nations afterward in 1948 and 1949 uh, were game changers for the region. The fact remains that Kashmir has become disputed ever since and it's uh, an unfinished business of the colonial, uh, colonial era. However, the significance of this uh, meeting is that it's been convened after 54 years. The last time it was convened was in 1964-65 when again China and Pakistan asked the UN to take up the issue. But then it was uh, placed in the back burner ever since. Uh, the situation is that there has been a total blackout, total curfew, and there are over 880,000 Indian troops being deployed. And for the past three weeks, uh, another 180,000 troops were deployed. It was all about th Article 370 and 35A. And on 5th August, when Amit Shah announced uh, the abrogation of 370 and 35A, uh, there was a speculation that Kashmir might, the mass uprising might erupt in Kashmir. And for that reason, the world is watching Kashmir right now. Kashmir is now a major flashpoint waiting to spill over. And it could turn into India's Afghanistan in the near future because there's a struggle for freedom going on and people are fed up with Indian lives, lives being churned out. It is hoped that the world will listen to what's going on in Kashmir only Pakistan is the hope for the region right now because for long-term stability, we, we need the world to act because uh, what's being done in Kashmir is more, it's nothing less than a genocide. We're really excited to share fantastic content with you on all the fun topics. Please subscribe to our channel by clicking on the subscribe button below. <laughs>